Hi Ellie, how are you? Hello Donald, I'm good. Thank you. So Ellie, this morning I was swimming in the Gala swimming pool, which is an amazing... Um, um, there was a lady who was extremely athletic, and the only thing that gave her away that she was older than she needed to be was the fact that her head was forward. Is this important? It's hugely important, yeah. No, your, head, it, your head weighs so much, you know, and the more, the more forward it is, the more exponentially it puts weight through the structures of your, of your back and your, and your neck. Very important. So mums and dads, these, this thing that I'm using to record this is, a, is new. It wasn't there when we were children. And yet our children have access to these all day long. And have you seen any teenagers coming through your doors with poor... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then as soon as you finish the, the adjustment, they sit down and they go like this. Yeah. And they fall yeah. yeah, and just do that again, Ellie, would you? So when you're in that position, you now just hump. And I've actually seen um, a 10-year-old, and unfortunately, mums and dads, just telling them to sit up is probably not enough. Once that curve has gone, um, we've got structures that are beginning to change. So chiropractically, can we help? <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. With postural advice, with the adjustments, um, with with advice about um, you know how to how to move and also exercises as well. So, what I what we can all do there is no exception here as far as I'm aware, is take this camera on this phone, and take a photograph of yourself side on, and if your ears aren't exactly in line with the middle of your shoulders, then you've got what we call forward head posture, and it's actually a disaster waiting to happen. Um, in 25 years' time, these teenagers with forward head posture are going to have terrible hypertension. So when you when you go forward, what happens to the muscles in the beginning at the front of your neck? Here? So um, influence the, the muscles of breathing as you breathe over, over time, which is a very big problem. Yeah. So if um, if you have forward head posture like that, um, how efficient is your heart? And lungs going to be no. Everything closes down as you come forwards like this. Everything closes down and doesn't work as well as it should do. Good. Okay. Now, one thing we look at um, very carefully when people come in for their first assessment is their head carriage and their posture, and we reassess them periodically, and we look. And in many many cases, we see vast improvements. Um, actually, just using your own discipline is very important but in itself once the problem has actually set in it's quite difficult isn't it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. so talking about yourself Ali, i met you when you were a yoga instructor i think yoga is a very big part of your life it is it is yeah very important movement of all kinds is important but yes yoga and, and stretching is a very um under underlooked part of uh, movement i think but I think also yoga just, apart from just stretching, yoga in its deepest form is, is a big part of your life and your marriage and how you raise your family. You know what, the, even like the stress hormones that, you do, that is, is just a part of life also contributes to this, right? Because the yeah. more stressed you become, the more hunched your shoulders become, the more closed off you become as well. And yoga is very much about trying to release that stress and you know, be present in the moment. So it's a very large part of it too. Good. So would you say most people are proactive or reactive in their health, i.e. do they come before there's a problem or do they wait till the problem's too unbearable? Yeah, reactive. That's Society teaches us if it ain't broke, don't fix it, doesn't it? So do you spend your life waiting for the AA to fix your car or do you look after that? No, I look after it. And do you think you're going to outlive your car? I would hope so. <laughs> so you spend thousands of pounds on an inanimate ob object that mm -hmm. is going to end up in a scrap heap in your life, mm -hmm. but you find people resistant to invest in themselves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do too. Anyway, I think we need to reverse that. Otherwise, you know, we talk about the NHS and being in crisis and we blame the governments and we blame this and we blame that, but really, I think each of us has a responsibility to our health. Can I just... When I was a chiropractic student, I went and uh, observed the chiropractor um, and I was just so impressed by this maybe eight year old patient who walked in and 
was just the straightest person I'd ever seen. And she walked in and said, hello, everyone. And she'd been going to see him for about 10 years or so. And initially, when she went, when she went in, I saw pictures of her initially. She was, you know, a proper 70-year-old like this. But over the course of that, those 10 years, from 70 to 80, she actually went... And then that shows really you the, cool, really cool. the power of consistency. I mean, you wouldn't just go to the gym three times and expect to be fit and stay fit. Ellie, thanks very much, mate. You're a really inspirational guy. Mm -hmm, um, a really valuable member of our team with all your knowledge from yoga and the fact that health comes from the inside out. Appreciate it. Take care, mm -hmm. man. Cheers. Bye-bye.